It's Thursday, June 12, 2008, and you're watching The Ointment. I'm Steve Tatum, your host. I want to wish former President George H.W. Bush a very happy 84th birthday. Hey, remember when he turned 80, he jumped out of an airplane with a parachute? You know what? I bet now that it's four years later and he sees his son's dismal poll numbers, I bet he's tempted to skip the shoot. Our top story in international news, Iran's President Ahmadinejad is taunting our president. How dare he? Don't taunt our president. That's our job. He says that George Bush might as well be dead. His term is just about over. He can't touch Iran. In fact, he said he can't harm one centimeter of Iran. And it's lucky for Ahmadinejad that George Bush doesn't know what a centimeter is or he'd be in trouble. Not our top story. This did not make our top story today. However, articles of impeachment have been introduced in the United States Congress against the President of the United States. You'd think that might be worth a mention here or there, maybe a newspaper article, a TV news story, but no, not much is being written about this. Dennis Kucinich introduced these articles of impeachment. He had four hours worth of material that he read into the congressional record. That seems like a lot. That might be worth maybe a 30 second mention by Katie Couric. Um, in any event, you remember Dennis Kucinich, he ran for president, he occasionally sees UFOs, perhaps that's the reason it's not getting a lot of coverage. There was a vote on it in Congress, 251 to 166. It's been sent to a committee to die. Farewell, articles of impeachment. In case you were looking for a good reason to sign up for the U.S. Army, serve your country, do your bit for patriotism, go to Afghanistan, stand shoulder to shoulder with freedom fighters, I give you this as evidence. Enticement, in fact. 260 tons of hashish burning in the Afghanistani wilderness. Millions of dollars of hashish going up in smoke, the smoke just wafting over the barren landscape. Ah, smells like freedom, doesn't it? Who wants a s'more? In legal news, there's an interesting trial happening right here in the city of Los Angeles a freedom of speech case in which a man is being put on trial. He's either an artist or a pornographer, depending on your point of view. The jury will decide whether or not the videos that he makes and sells are in fact obscene. From what I've read, they contain instances of bestiality, feces, and at least one actress who spends the entire video in tears. Hmm. Interesting. Sounds like a night at Britney Spears' house. Now here's the twist in the case. The judge, Alex Kaczynski, has his own personal website and on that website, pornographic images. Interesting. He's now recused himself from the case. So now you've added bestiality, feces, tears, and a federal employee. Now it sounds more like a night at Bill Clinton's house. And finally, in political news, remember this moment between Barack and Michelle Obama when he clinched the Democratic nomination for president. They shared a little fist bump, a loving moment between husband and wife. Fox News had a name for this moment. They called it a terrorist fist bump. A terrorist fist bump because, you know what, that's what terrorists do right before they go on a jihad, right before they launch into a suicide bombing. They share a loving moment with their wives. That's apparently what they do. It confused me. I had to consult my calendar because generally Fox News isn't labeling the Democratic nominee for president a terrorist until six, seven weeks before the election. This is early this year. Go figure. That's the ointment for another day. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Steve Tatum and that's news. Catch you tomorrow everybody.